Hi, my number ones. I'm Rosie, and I'm gonna. Okay, uh, Rosie's number ones and K-pop uh, lovers but everywhere. But Brace but yourselves. Uh, but this is not your ordinary song drop. This one hit differently, folks. It was announced just one day before release. No promos, and yet it's already smashing records like it was destined to own the charts. A P T. Yup, it's short for apartment. Isn't just a song. Oh no, this is a whole cultural moment. Co-written by Bruno Mars, Rosé, and Amy Allen, this masterpiece isn't just a banger, it's a statement. APT is inspired by a popular Korean drinking game, and it somehow perfectly blends Bruno's signature R&B with Rosé's dream-like pop vocals. The song hit platforms on October 18th at 1pm KST or 12am Eastern Time. And just less than 24 hours later, boom! At 1 on Melons, top 100 by October 19th at 12pm KST. If that's not iconic, what is? Oh, and it didn't just stop there. As of 2pm KST on the same day, APT, Conquered Melon, Genie, Bugs, and Flo, locking down a real-time all-kill, rack, that's a clean sweep across every major Korean music chart. And here's a juicy twist, Bruno Mars just became the first Western artist in 2024 to score a rack, thanks to this killer collab with Rosé. Like, who else could pull off such a massive feat with a drinking game-inspired song? Only these two legends. The song is tearing through the charts, even bulldozing past the likes of Day6 and Karina from East Bar's newest single, Up. That's no small task, people. Karina had the game on lock, and yet Rosé and Bruno were like, nah, we got this. Oh, and here's some fun context, only a handful of female solo artists in 2024 have managed to claim the number one spot on the top 100 charts. We're talking you with Love Wins All, BB with Bam Yang Gang, Jenny X Zico with Spot, and Lee Young Ji with Small Girl, Feet Do Kyung Soo. And now, Rose's APT just joined the Delete Club. Let's talk streaming, shall we? In its debut, APT racked up a jaw dropping 6.85 million streams on global Spotify, the biggest debut ever by a female K pop soloist. Yep, Rose just slid right past Lisa's New Woman and Jenny's Mantra. And for those of you in the States, APT scored 1.17 million streams on US Spotify daily charts. That makes it the biggest debut for a K-pop soloist in 2024. No big deal, right? Just casually setting records left and right. And if you think that's where the story ends, think again. In its first 24 hours, Apt clocked 25.24 million views and 2.91 million likes on YouTube. This makes it the most viewed collab of 2024 in 24 hours. The most viewed male-female duet of 2024 in 24 hours. The most viewed MV by a Korean act of 2024 in 24 hours. Look, folks, real-time wall kill is already an insane achievement, but let's not stop there. We're going for that perfect wall kill pack, meaning we dominate every chart, every time. So if you haven't streamed, APT, yet, what are you even doing? Get those streams up, let's make history. This collab is everything we didn't know we needed. Bruno Mars and Rosé coming together for a song inspired by a Korean drinking game. Genius. Fans are loving it, the charts are loving it, and honestly, the world is loving it. There's something magical about this R&B and pop fusion that just hits differently. That's all for now, Rosé's number ones. Let's meet again in the next update with a perfect all kill. See you in the next video.